Hey hello everybody, it's Mateo Tube here and welcome to this little uh, tutorial video here. This is one of the last videos I'm going to create before my break. But anyways, you see this picture here and you see this one here. This one has white around it, right? You might be wondering, how did I make the green screen where um, the back is not, where the back is see-through? Well, if I go back to the picture I created, right? It is, let's see here, it is on this one, it is down here, and you might be asking, how did I change the back of this to this? It's very, very simple. All I did was I cut it up. You can, what I did is I go like this, right? You go like this, right? You use the, um, the lasso select, and you just basically draw out your back, right, like this, root, right? and you basically cut it up, right? And you, you just follow the lines like so, right? Like the way you want to, right? Boop, I know it's not the best, but whatever, right? And then you press, up here you could press the cut button, right? Now, there are still some like little pieces left. You know what I can do? I can use the eraser, which looks like this, and I can also change the, the width of it just to go like this. Just to, you know, get that annoying stuff out there. Let's just move this over to the middle real quick and get this real quick. There we go. And then we can, then basically what we can do is we can cut that up, make that just like that so that we have less, less trash. And I understand I did leave some areas in, but that's okay. There we go, making sure I can uh, get everything set up there. All right, now we go on to the other side. You can use the same tool or you can use the eraser. It doesn't matter which tool you use. I use the eraser because in my opinion, the eraser is really easy compared to... Ooh. Oh, what did I just do? You. Google. Google wants to do it for me. Google wants to, to do it for me, apparently. You just saw that there. Um, why aren't you working? There we go. All right, so now you basically just do the same thing. Now outline it, outline it, outline it. Now there probably is a better editor. You could probably get Cinema 4D and it would probably do it for you. Oh, ooh, I don't know what happened there. Uh, but anyways, you basically just do the same thing for the... All right, so you see I left this little area right here. Since that's a lot, since it's not connected to the original picture, you see how there's like a little cut right there? What I can do is I can put the magic wand, right? And I can press on it, and you see how that's all highlighted? Press delete. Now, if you look at this, you see that? It basically, it says it wants to cut up my skin right there. So look at this, if I just press delete, it would cut up my whole face except for my head and part of my hand. But anyway, since we don't want to do that, just unselect that. And erase, you know, again, erase the like little areas. If, you're, if, if, if this was an original picture, I would be doing it, I would be taking way more time. But since this is just a little bit of a tutorial, it doesn't need to be perfect. And then, still, if so now what you're going to do is you're going to press the rectangle select button. Select it all, right? Just go like this. Keep canvas size. Keep canvas size, right? Keep it moving up. Keep moving it. Put it in a place. Uh-oh, we still have that white part. What do we do? Get it out of there. Delete it. Delete it, right? Go to layers. Press add new layer. Keep the way keep keep it the way it is. Again, copy this. Go back again. Keep canvas size. Uh oh, look at this. Ooh, look at that. All the deleted part, no longer there. All the deleted part is no longer there. Oh, I'm a little bit. Ooh, I don't know what's going on here. Ooh, uh, that's why it's because I'm not pressing shift. Alright, boom. Look at that. I just, we just made a green screen. We just made a green screen here. Look at that. We did it, finally. Now that's basically how to do it. See, now you cannot see any of this nasty white part. 
So then it comes up to a perfect picture just like this one. Now what you're gonna do, after you do this one, because obviously you have to save it, you're gonna press save as, right? We're gonna save, if you're saving it for YouTube, you wanna do JPEG. If you don't do JPEG, it's not gonna save. Well, like you can't post it as a, as a thumbnail. I'm gonna go to the YouTube updates. Now since we already put it as download, I'm just gonna name it the same thing and replace it. Okay. Flat, you're gonna press, fl if you haven't flattened it already, you're gonna plus press flatten. Flatten it, and it's saved. And so now we can, now as you can see I had a PDN, that's because I accidentally saved it as a PDN, but you want it as JPEG. So now what you can do is, if you wanted to see the picture bigger, go like this, go to new, and just put 1920 by 1080, if that's how big your monitor is. Go like this, boop, copy it, right? Press shift, and there you go, now you can see it bigger. So that's what we just created, we created the green screen. I figured out how to do this by a YouTube tutorial, and this is just another one just to get it out there. Um, but see now, see it covers up you, so, so now it covers up you, and now it's tube update. Tube, that's my last name, tube update. And so as you can see it works out perfectly, then you know just do your normal stuff, go to choose an image, right now it's up there. Go to our channel, uh, the Ultimate Gamer 19 will now have a link in the description to this video since uh, his video is here. So go to my channel now, not his channel, go to my channel, right, and it is there. Now since I scheduled the video, it is private, but the video will actually be releasing in three hours from now, which will be 12 o'clock. So. As you can see, it's now there. So basically, once you're uploading, just press choose image and that's it. So basically, I hope this video helped you out a little bit. Um, as you can see, we can we can only move around the image right now since we uh, edit it around. But if you wanted to cut, let's say you wanted to cut out YouTube, you'd basically just do the same thing. Now, I hope maybe the magic wand will see the magic. The magic wand doesn't always work. But if you just wanted to cut out YouTube, you could just cut out YouTube. Go like this. Post it put it here you can have a size and there you go you have it again actually we don't have it again because we don't have another layer on there but whatever but anyways i hope this helped you out a lot if this helped you out make sure to hit that like button if you like doing more make sure to hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys so very very much and until next time please rate comment and subscribe see you later